Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let me show you how to go ahead and block apps on the App Store. Now there are several ways for us to be able to do this. So you can go ahead and restrict the apps that you can go ahead and install by restricting your phone to only being able to install apps of a certain age range. So for us to do that, all we need to do is to go into our settings and then we're going to go down until we can see screen time right here. So go ahead and click on this and then we're going to scroll down until we can go ahead and see content and privacy restrictions. So go ahead and click on this. And if this content and privacy restriction is currently off, so toggled off like this, then just go ahead and toggle it on. And then we're going to be going on content restrictions right here. And we're going to go down until we can see apps section right here. So at the moment, you can go ahead and install any form of apps that you want. Or if you don't want any apps installed at all, you can go ahead and select this one right here. Or you can go ahead and select the age range as to which one can be downloaded. So say, for example, if you have a child and you want to restrict it to a certain age range that you want to download apps on the phone, then you can go ahead and set this. Another thing that we can go ahead and do is to go ahead and change our app limits. So we are here still in the screen time section. Then we can go ahead and click app limits right here. And what this does is we can go ahead and set a daily time limit for the app to be used. So say for example, let's go ahead and add a limit. Uh, let's go into social and then let's say Discord right here. We can go ahead and set the time that we can allow for this phone to use Discord. So you can pretty much customize this to your own liking. So you can go ahead and choose any app that you want. That's another way that we can go ahead and block apps. Another thing that we can go ahead and do is to use downtime feature. So what that does is that we can go ahead and turn this on and we're only able to use apps that we have allowed in our list. So for us to do that, let's go ahead and go on always allowed. So as you can see, there is a section right here in the middle where we can select the apps that we can go ahead and allow during downtime. So that's messages, FaceTime and maps and all the other apps will be blocked off so if we go ahead and show that so i'm going to go back and then turn on downtime right here and then if we go ahead and check our apps right here as you can see everything has been blocked off so say for example if i open up instagram as you can see it says that we have reached our limit so we can't use this anymore it has blocked off the app until we go right on ahead and turn off downtime as well. And there you go. I hope that you have found this tutorial useful. See you guys next time.